Hello everybody, Sifter again with a continuation of our Loop Hero playthrough. Um, yeah, the, I have been farming for uh, about one and a half day, maybe two, depending on how you see it. And um, yeah, the time has come to shoot the next video. So let me really quickly go through my plan, my training plans. Training plan one, the Scarecrow Rush. This is just, I run over here, run over here, pick up my levels, and then fight the Scarecrow, and then fight the Scarecrow. This is what it looks like. It's a really quick run. And uh, the whole idea of this is to just farm a bunch of hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is permanent damage, so that I won't be forced to fight more, to upgrade body a lot. That's it, pretty much. Now, uh, loop 2 that I was running a million times is um, the everything loop. And then there is the new everything too. Let's go with the new everything, actually. So let's load. Did I? Did I? Please don't tell me I saved. Yeah, I, lo I leveled up. Anyway, so what the, the everything looks like. I pretty much do everything on this map. Pick up the carrots, go here, um, speak with him, get the key, get the potions, kill him, go over here, sell the po sell the mana, uh, the, the sell everything, then kill him, get gold out of him, go over here, kill these guys too, all of them give us gold, then go to the samurai, he trains us, then we kill him. And then we run just over here at the bottom and just spam this outpost, this observatory, and uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, I was also spamming this a lot, so just run through everything. I just want to make clear what I was farming, right? That's why I'm showing this. So as you, as I said, sell and kill, then kill everything here, do the training, then run it back, pick up the mana potions, kill these guys. Now with the 63 coins, run back to the samurai. Now we train on defense efficiency, which I think is full because it's at 79 and I haven't seen it gone up more. Go over there, pick up all the mana and everything, and then rank down here and just spam training on this. And uh, this has opened up this whole area, but we're not gonna go there. Yeah, and now the third one that I have, this is pretty much it, the, is the basics, which is pretty much going to be the baseline of what I'm gonna do, which is I'm gonna clear out this whole area here. Okay, get my levels. Then uh, do this part. I get my quints, etc. But still, I run over here, pick up these, do the training, because all of these give us level, and then I cash out the levels and I end here. So this is literally what I will be using as a base of operations. I will not be going down Samurai to train more defense efficiency, I don't need that to. And uh, I also don't need to kill those, but I'm just doing it because it's a uh, part of the road, so I'm not really losing that much time. It's like half a sec to go here and speak and kill the fisher and half a sec to speak and kill the old man. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I was doing mix and matching here and there, obviously, I was running a bit here to XP this path, I was running a bit over to the left to XP that path too, I was doing a bunch of stuff, for example, I also came to this observatory a million times to open up this whole area, and I also came to this observatory a million times to open up this area, so now we are ready to explore. Now before we explore, I want to really mention uh, the other areas which we might go in the future. So this area here is definitely not approachable right now. Although I'm passing through the flooded grass, I know that it costs like 700 to pass, and then the next one costs 400, and, and two on this, two on this, two on this, but I have enough mana to do that if I want. Red Eye Hydra is uh, also easily beatable. All of these are easily beatable. Even if I don't have the life, I could upgrade body. But after that, there is the mountain trail here, so I don't see us getting through that. I don't know if over here to the left there is something. So I will try to beat the Hydra today and see if we can go like over here to open up the observatory. I will farm it at another point, but we will do that later in the run. I'm not going to do it right now. At the bottom, there is no reason at all to go there because this whole area is flooded grass, flooded grass, flooded grass. And as you see later down the road, it's still flooded grass, flooded grass. So I'm going to assume that everything here is flooded grass. And because those need, as you say, without equipment... It says here that I need some specific equipment, that means that uh, this is for later. I could sequence break, but I don't really want to. Uh, over at the samurai side, there is nothing to be seen, so that's pretty much clear. And this is the side we're gonna explore today. As you can see here, I can also go to the bottom. There seems to be a bottom path here, so maybe another area exists. But today I'm gonna like try to go into the castle and see what is in there. So let's start plotting that path. So we here are on the basics, let's make sure that we are on the basics. By the way, I have stacked up second bonus time. I, I when, when I when this uh, ability unlocked, I said that I hope the maximum bonus time you can gather is at least, it's more than an hour, like 5 hours, 6 hours, 10 hours. And it seems that that is actually the case, because I have 500, uh, 5,800 seconds here, let's assume it's 6,000. That's about one hour and something like it's a bit less than two hours and it only says that it's 0.05 percent of max that means you can definitely stack up like days upon days 
So throughout this whole video, we will be blasting through at times three speed after I build up the path because this path that he's running right now is not really that important. So we are at this point right now. So let's go and move over here, pick up these three as they are not picked up in the normal path. Let's continue running it over there. Pass through the guard as we have the password. Go over here, run it down, pick three mana potions up as I'm not going to run back here ever again. Go down here, pick up the potion, go over here, fight this once. Uh, what is easier, grass against grass against grass? Uh, I have already run through some of these, so let's continue running through the same. So we go over this corner, fight these two, why not? Let's, uh, everything's grass, right? Yeah, everything's grass, so it doesn't matter where I go. Let's go right and down. And right and right and right and right. This seems like a normal critter to me, not a double critter. I don't see a behind attack, so let's go with one fight on that. Up, 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 up. Go over here. Pick up the three souls. This is also gonna give us vision to this area, so I don't need to YOLO. There is no reason to YOLO. Let's go over here, over to the beast, fight, and then run it up, then run zigzag and run it up. Actually, is this city clean tile 70? Grass 75. Okay, well, the tiles seem to be easier to reverse through. So we're gonna run up to the tile and then zigzag. Whoops. Yeah. The, the more tiles I go through instead of going through grass is better. So we're gonna go through the tiles here. I don't know why tiles, dirty city tiles are 70. How, how can this be? Like, dirty path is baseline. I, I don't have a simple dirty path right now because I've walked most of them. Come on, there has to be something that I never walked through. Here. Baseline dirty path, 55. Baseline dirty tiles, 70. I disagree on that. I know it's for balance purposes because this is a later tile. But uh, I still disagree. I think that's uh, pretty stupid. <laughs> let's, um, yeah, let's run it up and go into the city. And he's going to run up and we're going to see where that's going to go with, uh, bring us. And let's see this path happen. And from now on, we will be at times three for the rest of the video. So this whole recording is going to happen at times three. Oh, for I forgot to actually, actually, you know what, before, before we go on, Pause you for a moment. Uh, there is a reason I haven't used music here because I wanted to remember it. So the game is bugged out with the music right now. If I do this, do you hear this music? Okay, you hear this music, I'm pretty sure. So now let me show you what this what happens here if you go out and then again. It loops again and again and again and again. And now you hear like 7,000 musics back to back to back to back to back to back. So yeah, the music is completely bugged out in this game. I don't know what exactly happened there. So yeah, I just wanted to say that in case anybody cared what is happening with the music. I'm, I'm resetting the loop in case it didn't refresh because you never know if this game's going to refresh. And now we play at times three speed. As I said, we're blasting through everything. Is this even times three speed? Yeah, it doesn't even feel like it because we're already going so fast. The times three isn't even really properly working. And we're ready to explore the new area. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Went over there, fight the beast. Everything's going well. Okay, let's uh, let's stop the times three speed for a moment. Actually, let him continue doing whatever he wants. I mean, I have so much free time. I don't need to stop the villager. They really are into hats. Observatory. Okay, where's the observatory? Um, let's continue going up for a moment. Go over to the observatory and spam forever. Refresh this. Off we went into the wall, as we always do. And we're about to spam pretty much all my MP into Observatory 150. Yeah, this is gonna definitely open up the whole map. Where are we right now? Talking to the training dummy. Vroom vroom. And for everything. Pick up mana. Over there. And now we spam Observatory pretty much. Yeah, with Observatory we're quickly gonna progress. Quickly and easily too. Uh, let's save this as the... Barrel training, that's extremely old. Let's save this as the town, city, castle, castle, observator. Castle, observator. Observator, not observator, observator. <laughs> okay, this is opening the map slowly. Every time you see 15 tiles opened, it means that you're good to go like this thing. Uh, you scouted 15 tiles. What is this? We got a new story. No, 27k. Eastern City Observatory. This is a pretty large city. Hopefully, I will find a way to get rid of my curse here. I see a market on the central square. Okay, you continue spamming that. We're gonna create a new path here. We're gonna throw these out. Actually, throw all of... No, here we stop. So, I was already going... Uh-oh. I wanna change this path. 
let's make it up and to the right because yeah, because this might lead us to the left. So let's go here, up and up and up and up and up and over there. Let's do this. Let's update it and let's call this the new um, Castle Observatory. Okay, and now I'm going to create the new path, which is from here. We go to the right. It looks like... What? This is not blocked. Is this flames? Oh, this might be blocked. Well, if it's blocked, then it's blocked. I'm going to run through this, and I also want to explore this area. So, this looks like fireflies to me. Let's go over here. Right, right. Pick up the... They go right? I would say down. Grass, yeah. So, this is over here right now. I don't want to go right. I want to go... Is this grass? Yeah, this is grass. So, from here... I want to... Please stop marking it. From here, I pick it up, and then we go... Pick both up, why not? Then we go down, right. Pick both up here. I would assume there are two. Let's say there are three. And then run it back through the same way. And let's test this. What happened here, by the way? I think we're on the new path right now. Did I die? What happened? I ran into a wall because the map was zigzaggy. <laughs> okay. I don't think we're gonna die this time, though. And we're also going to open up and see what's here. What is this? Fireflies. And just two fireflies. Pick them up. What is this? Green altar. Oh, okay. I can get XP here. So theoretically, instead of running through muddy grass one, muddy grass... Um, yeah, I could go right. Talk to the green altar and up. Did I die here? What happened? Woods. Woods. Okay, this is a dead end. Wait, 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 wait. This is a dead end. Don't run in there. Cancel this left up 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 speak to this refresh this okay it's gonna run to wall again in the meantime I want to also explore down there yeah there is nothing here how many levels am I I was not fast enough into looking how many levels I was how many levels I was and also I want to see if these mana potions here make any sense do I need to pick him up? Because if I don't, then I shouldn't. I shouldn't waste my time. Like, if I'm at full mana when I arrive there. Ah, I think they pay off, actually. I think they do actually pay off. Let's update this and let's create this new path. So this is the still, still the same thing. Castle Observatory. And uh, we are also going to create a new path. I once again did not see the levels. Where am I right now? Okay, I'm about to see how many levels I am. Let's run. So one, ten, holy, it's bit 14. Okay, that's a lot of levels, man. A villager, they're really into hats. Is everybody into hats over there? 14 levels on this kill. And then I would say run it back. So we kill this, I would say run to the right, right to the up, up, like zigzag, and then run back again. Although those mad grasses are gonna kill us. Yeah, forget the beast. I mean, from here it's 10 levels. So, t I'm gonna take those 10 levels. <laughs> I'm willing to take those 10 levels. So, we go from here, I would say. We go to the right. One, two, three. And then here I'm gonna get 10 times speed. Because right now I don't need anything else other than 10 speed. And then from here we already go up. And then from here, I would say, because we're already here, we're just gonna throw these out. And everything is the same. If anything, this is actually better. So we're going to reset this. And now we're going to have more speed. And then we're going to also get two, four levels out of this. I should normally run back and burn them in the flame. But whatever. Uh, anyway, this is the true observatory now again. Castle observatory. And uh, here I would say, let's... First of all, I want to see the path. Yep, a lot better. Okay, this is still opening up the math. The map until it becomes like until everything becomes squirrel like for example like it's here until everything becomes crisp clean crisp clean like you see it here or you can also see it here it's the same thing like crisp clean corner then uh, it means that we're still not done with the observatory and as you see this is not a crisp clean corner there is no crisp clean corner anywhere and um yeah let's uh, let's also open up the bottom path there so let's assume after i pick up these mana potions Instead of running up to the beast and fighting it, at this point here, we're going to throw these all in the bin. 
And then we're going to just run it back. Run over here. And run it down. And I also want to run from this spot. Because I might want to cut corners. Actually, do I want to ever cut corners? I don't think I ever want to cut corners. Uh, because I always want to get the level, right? So I always want to do this zigzag fight. Therefore, I should be running down from this path as early as possible. Go back and let's run it down. And let's see where this sends us. Definitely not the observatory. Uh, maybe my base path. My maybe my base path is a bit too big. Maybe it's just a smidge too big. I can agree on that. Still exploring. Does this guy also love hats? Yeah, everybody loves hats. Tiles, dirty tiles. I want to see what I can find over there for a moment. What exists in this castle? Blocked. Nothing really. Mainly villages. I find some worlds. Blocked. Tiles, dirty tiles. Where are we? Okay, we're ready to go. Let's let's see this. Let's see this happen. Pick up the mana, run it back, and YOLO into the wall, as always. YOLO into the wall is the way to go. Uh, I see spirits here. I see flooded grass. I see grass. Okay, I definitely see spirits here, so... Theoretically, I can... What is this? Mud grass. 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 Don't YOLO, man. Run one back. Let's go from the grass over... Is this grass? I'm not sure if that's grass. This is grass for sure, so let's go down, left. These seem to be like... This is a bat. We fight that. That's a, a, a mana bat. Then we run it down. I think there is like a fight here or here. Not 100% sure. Let's run it down. Let's refresh first of all. Let's run it down and see if we're gonna run into the wall. There is nothing in this area. Yeah, this is like completely blocked off. Where are we right now? The training, 100 scarecrows, boom, done. Let's run it. Okay, let's see this path new. <clears throat> this new path now. So there an observatory, very nice. Every time you find observatory, it's a good sign. Okay, so we run it down here and just spam this. Refresh before you start, please. And uh, I want to use this observatory to open up this whole map pretty much. But uh, I, I'm not going to do this right now. I just wanted to, you know, quickly run through this to get it open. And then we're going to farm this thing tomorrow. I mean, I am going to farm it on my free time. And uh, you're going to see tomorrow what we discovered. Let's go see. Look at this. 7 mana potions, 5 mana potions. Everything's opening up. Okay, that's another area we're not going to go into to right now. Because this is, look at this. Flooded grass, flooded grass, flooded grass. It's literally saying to us that, yo, you cannot really go through that today. Um, or you shouldn't go through it at all, if, if anything. And um, I also want to get access to this observatory, which uh, I can easily. Another observatory. How many observatories are here? Woods, woods. Oh, this thing forces you to go through everything pretty much. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go through this observatory and most likely this observatory and then also this observatory. Like, it's just a red-eyed beast which I can kill and then go to this observatory. And there are so many here. Observatory here, observatory here. Everything here has an observatory. I don't know what's the idea of this map. But uh, anyway, we're gonna save this as... Um, below castle. Below castle orbs. Below castle orbs. So this is this area. And uh, yeah, we're done with this pretty much. So let's revert into the castle observatory. Castle observatory. Let's run it. Yeah, you can do your old path. Dit, 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 and dead. I like that because I have a million mana potions. The necromancer. Ooh, pretty and deadly. So we find a new NPC. That's good. That's really good. The left area is completely... Uh, I mean... Uh, close to the end of the video, I'm gonna try to fight the Hydra and just, you know, get access to this observatory. Just so that I, whenever I, I discover something new, I instantly... Uh, you guys see it first alongside me. Instead of, you know, just me unlocking things and then explaining, yo, look what I found and whatnot. No, no, no. I wanna explore everything with you together. So, I see two barrels here. So, that's definitely mana potions. That means that here at the very end, I don't need to do this. Yeah, let's throw this out and we go up. Can I go through these? Tiles, tiles, yeah. Through this, tiles. Through this, no. So these are, nope, this is blocks. Tiles, 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 tiles. Okay, so we go right, right, up, right, 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 down. 
up over over here. Is this a barrel? Yes. What is this? Tiles. Seems to be a backline path over there. Tiles blocked. Pick up the barrel. Pick up the other barrel. Run it back. Left. Tiles left. Blocked up. Left. 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 Down. Is this path correct? Yeah, this path's correct. So we zigzag and then we go over here into the observatory. I, I would just want this to refresh for a moment. And then I will go back into speaking with people. Okay, let's say maybe 15 observatories. Okay. Then we go over here. Why would I zigzag there? Why would I zigzag? Just go up. A villager, a villager, a villager. I can kill them all. <laughs> Isles blocked. Okay, let's speak with this, for example, let's say five times. Did I run into a wall? Tiles, 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 tiles. Why did I run to a wall? And go up here. Speak with this guy maybe five times. I want to see if I did wall or run into a wall. I did run to a wall. Why? Yo, wait a moment. Wait, 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 wait. Not enough XP. Okay, this is like... This is at the start of the run again. Why did I run to a wall? I was here. Blah. I, 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 well. Uh, it is what it is. Let's just go to the right here. Forget this going downwards. So continue to the right. Also do this. Continue to the right. Right. And then go down, down. No, no, forget this. Then go delete this. Nice. Give you one more down. Very nice. So now we're going from behind, pretty much. And uh, by going back, I should also go from the same side. So add one more of this. Add some more of this. Remove this. That looks similar. Looks similar. Remove one of those. So now he's supposedly going the right path. Supposedly. So we speak with them. Let's go over here, loop the loop around, speak with this guy until we die. No, not that. Not the triangle, not this, this. And yeah, let's see how this goes. I don't know why I'm dying. Give me a pause, give me a pause. Firefly, no, that's already done. Game saved, loop was started, path is blocked. What? 30 tiles, 30 dials, 30 dials. I think with the new one, the path is not going to be blocked. Continue the run. Am I in the new path? I don't even know. By the way, when I pause, does this? No, it doesn't. Wait. I think it went up for half a sec. So every five seconds it should go one up. No, it doesn't. Continue anyway. Uh, stop locking down the camera. So right now we are speaking pretty much with everybody. Also doing 15 of those. I want to see this real time. I'm trying to be as precise as possible with these because... I don't want to be wasting mana for no reason. Yeah, perfect. Now we do 15 of those. Speak with them a bit time. Speak with that guy a bit. Okay, did I not get anything new? No. I spoke with them a few times. Spoke with them a few times too. Mm, tiles? What is this? Pawn shop. Sell your items. No questions asked. Uh, okay. Give me a sec. The villagers took pity and gave you one gold. I zoomed on what? The villager took pity and gave you one gold times two. Again, again. What? This, these guys give us gold. Pity, he says. Okay, man. Okay, I wanna, I wanna beg the first one for a million times. See what he, how many, how much gold he can give us. Get gold out of these guys. Okay. What is this mana potion shop? Ah, I'm blind. Okay, I saw it. Okay, I get it. I get it. So, shoemaker, are you even wearing shoes right now? 15 coins. Oh, so the whole setup of assassinating half the crew is good. I told you it was a good plan. How much is this going to give to a beggar? The villager... Stop, 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 stop. So... Gives us three gold, and another three gold, and another one gold, and then he's out of money. So he has seven. This guy has seven coins. So, here you go. Am I correct in the math? 
Let's see. 3 plus 3 is 6, and plus 1 is 7. And then out of money, out of money, out of money. Okay, so he has 7 gold. How much does the guy above him have? And also, I don't really need this. Am I going in there twice? No, I don't really need the observatory anymore. So let's just throw it out. Let's get some more man out of this. And uh, let's rerun it. And uh, the pawn shop... Yeah, uh, while this is running, I'm gonna pause it at the end anyway. So this is the pawn shop, it sells your items, no questions asked. Let's do that until we die and see how much we get out of our items. And what items it means. This corner is blocked, so this is pretty much the shop district. I'm gonna look into the shops in a moment. Okay, before I die, I wanna see how much gold he had. The village is now scared and out of money. Scared and out of money. Bridge is now scared and out of money. So this guy... Give us a lot more, right? Can I... Can I... Oh, there's more mana potions. Okay, that happened there. The virtue took picnic and give you one money. That's the first one. Seven. Seven plus... Seven plus two. So, no, no. It's two plus three is five. And another two is... Um, why? Seven again. Yeah, this is 14, right? So, yeah, this is 14. So, this guy also has seven. Therefore, you go with seven... Okay, so, let's see. Are you even wearing shoes right now? This is by a shoe. I don't know what this is against this. Speaking familiarity. Isles, okay, who cares? Shield ink. Stop using a piece of wood and get the real stuff. 15 coins. Okay. Need to cut something in half. 12 coins. But I already have a sword. What did I sell? I'm not selling anything. You've eaten one? No. You have nothing to sell. You have nothing to sell. You have nothing to sell. The villager took pity and gave you one gold. You sold six items for 22 gold at the pawn shop. That's happened in one go, right? I think that's happened in one go. Because otherwise it would be like X3 or X4. What are the six items? Who knows? I don't need gold right now. So forget the pawn shop like completely. Throw it out the window. I would say instead of going left and right into a new path. I would say let's go down and left into the new path. Because better create this. And forget the pawn shop for a moment. So, yeah, you can continue. Want to continue the run and did the opposite. Run it down. Go over here. Pick up seven coins. Begging. Let's go with eight in case he has one more than the rest. And, um, and let's also buy shoes. Let's see what the shoes do. And also let's see what talking here does. So first I'm going to talk like ten times. And I'm gonna try to buy shoes forever, I guess. Run it. Shields, 15 coins. Swords and code, 12 coins. Health potion, buy a health potion. Buy a big mana potion. Okay, so the idea is you buy one shoe, one shield, one sword, which is uh, 30, 42 coins, which we have. I want to see what happens when you talk here. Stop for a moment. You bought new boots twice. So the boots allow you to walk past and flood grass. Good. You work in the merchant learning how to tug with them. 1G, 10 familiarity. What? You talk to the merchant learning how to haggle with them. 1 gold less, I guess, for each 10 familiarity I have. And I have 1. Okay, so these guys uh, drop their prices if you talk to them. Got it. Now I'm trying to buy a million shoes, which is extremely stupid. Okay, so I have to haggle with all of these guys to get familiarity up to, I don't know, a million levels. And then this should cost two coins, this should cost two coins, this should cost two coins, this should cost five coins or something. But right now I can pick one of each up. So let's continue this loop. Let's, uh, let's buy once and talk forever. But first I'm gonna buy, buy, buy... <laughs> the, the, the song. <laughs> buy, buy. Let's go here. Pick one up. No, no, don't run back. Go to the right. Pick one up. Go down and right. Pick one up and haggle until you die. I'm gonna see this in action. Okay, I got five boots. Does it make any difference if you have one or five boots? I don't know. I would assume not. I'm wearing Tensu shoes. It works. It just works. This is blocked. Let's also go over there to see if that area is blocked. So after we ask for this guy's money, let's run a bit to the left and then like up. 
stop here. Does he actually have... Yeah, he actually has seven exactly, so let's go with one less. Whoop. Okay, I would say the next path... I was, I was crafting a path here. Yeah, we run up. And run one more up. Why not? Not here. Not here at the end, please. Over here. Run one more up. And then, uh, then run it back. And then run back down. Okay, something like that, just to explore the whole area. And uh, yeah, let's unpause. Let's pause here again and see what we got. So I got an 80% attack sword instead of the 50% attack sword. And I got a 7 shield instead of a 5 shield. Does this also increase efficiency? 79 efficiency. And also I got the sturdy boots low. So let's see how much cheaper it makes it. From 2000 it becomes 380. Insanely cheap. And from... Okay. Okay, so this pretty much opens up the path for the follow for the continuation of this. So I'm still haggling here. This is 15 coins. I'm still at five speaking familiarity. Well, if I if I can increase the speaking familiarity as much as I have increased the rest of the people, like this guy, 121. Especially if I just spam speaking, it's definitely gonna become a lot cheaper. There we go over there. Let's do the loop-de-loop. -loop. Is there something here? There are some. There is something there at the left. Okay, so there is more to explore. There is more to explore. Uh, yeah, literally there is more to explore. So I would say we run through all of those. Because I actually have the money, I don't need to do it in this order. Let's go with... This stays as it is. This here, this path goes away. This path changes up and becomes... Uh, one back. So from here, I would say we go left. We buy. We go left up. We buy. Left. Buy. And then... Um, health potions? Do I even care about health potions? Mana potions? Let's go with mana potions. Then run over here. Pick up like, I don't know, however many mana potions I can buy. Let's say five, which I'm definitely not going to be able to. Five left. How much money do I have? 35 coins. Yeah, I will be able to buy 5, actually. No, I will be able to buy 3, but it doesn't matter. Let it Leave it at that. Even if it costs some energy, I don't care. And then we run over to the bottom. I could go like this and up, or I can do this. this it's the same thing, math-wise. So we go here. Speak with him. Haggle. Not haggle. Beg for 7 coins. Run it back up. Go over here. I think I have some levels at this point, so let's like give this thing, let's say five levels and then just run off to the left and hope we don't hit a random wall, which we will. So it seems like actually assassinating the, the the ninja is a good idea to get, oh actually the ninja isn't, the samurai isn't giving us coins. Oh, let's try this again. Aggle's still happening, so we're still looping. Okay, so now that we got the boots, first of all, I can... No, I cannot explore this because I'm still missing the mountain equipment, so forget this. But I can definitely explore this area. It's full of water, pretty much. And I also can definitely, definitely explore this area, which seems a bit easier. Okay. A new area. Drink a little post. Stop, 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 stop for a moment. What is this? A large vial of mana restores 4,000? Are you crazy? Okay, we're blasting through this. And off to the wall he went, and he died. From what did we die? From a blocked tile. A villager, they are really into hats. Okay. So we drain. It might lead somewhere interesting. The priest, he will se sermonize you if you get too close. He would sermonize. I don't know what sermonize means. Uh, let's continue here to the left. What is this? Blocked. Let's maybe talk to him until we die. Went to the wall. Is this a... Is this an enemy? Seems like there are enemies here, but that doesn't even make sense. Cliff? Grass? Wait, can I come from behind? Can I come from down there? Like, am I in the middle of the mines? Okay, we're almost at the new area. Pick everything up. Get the money, get the potions, run it back. Coin, speak with him. Spam, 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 and we died. Let's see what knowledge we got. Here he is, the priest. Talked 15 times. Once he starts talking to you, it's hard to get rid of him. 
I tried lots of things. I even slapped him during one loop. Still, he wouldn't budge. But before that, in the backdrop sits the huge cathedral, completely deserted. It seems that de dedicated to some local god of healing. <laughs> some local god, man. Uh, in front of the it stands a desperate-looking priest looking for a poor soul to preach to. Better avoid the eye contacts. Can I kill him? 101 to kill a villager. They're really into hats. First of all, I'm definitely gonna zigzag my way into haggling with a villager. Let's not forget that. Really important. Throw these out, please. Go down here. Beg seven times. Go up. Speak. Until you die. Let's refresh this. I want to also assassinate the villagers. So we add a sword here. We add a sword here. We add a sword here. And we also add a sword here. And uh, what is this tiles? Why is this red? Why is this blinking and doing stuff? Blocked. I want to explore there in a bit. Let's speak with this guy like 20 times. Refresh this please. And just run back to the city and let's maybe run down. See what happens. Okay. Man, the, the, the exploring aspect of this game is a bit slow sometimes. You have to wait like for an hour. I really, I really, really, really hate it that you cannot mid-run try things. That you have to loop from the beginning. This is the worst part of this game. Although I like the game right now, it's... I'm, I'm almost addicted. I mean, look, look how fast this all goes. Okay, we killed them all, right? Give me a moment. Why did you survive? Why did you survive? And when did, what did those guys even drop? So, this last guy that died, took the villager, pity gave him 3 gold, give us gold, and then you kill the villager and grab this hat. 3.5k. These are the hats. One villager's stupid hat. Hopefully it's worth a few bucks. This is to go over there and sell them. Ha ha ha. They got quite good perks. First of all, let's, uh, let's continue this run. Nice. That's what I want to happen. I don't need to follow you anymore. Do we refresh this with the assassination of the last villager? I don't know. I think we did. Uh, tiles. We run into that wall. I guess I want to zigzag there. Like, also, I want to zigzag down here. So let's, like, go down and then maybe right and then maybe up. And then maybe zigzag here. And maybe zigzag here. And then try off to the left. I don't know. I'm just trying things. Tiles. Tile. This is city tiles. What? Yeah, I run off the cliff again. Although it's tiles. I'm gonna zigzag around here, see what happens. Uh, over here, because I just have been... <laughs> because, as just mentioned, we get money out of these. I think I should change the order of which I do things. I think I should go... Money, kill, money, kill. Go over... Uh, run back the easy way. Buy, 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 buy. Buy, buy, buy. Go over down, money, kill, money, kill. Run it back, pick up some mana potions, run away. I think that's the way we should do it. So, right, money kill, money kill. And then here, I would say, uh, after this assassination, we go up, up. So, this is more up than it should have been. I mean, let it as it is. So, actually, throw this away. Up, up. Sell. This is a one-time thing. Down, down. Right, right. Let's uh, attempt to buy three more potions. I'm right away trying to buy five potions, right? Is there any reason for me to try to buy potions right away? I don't think so. Throw these out. Try to buy five potions. What is this? Five left? Five, yeah. And this is five health potions. You know what? Might as well also try that. Although, it costs me too much to try to buy them. Yeah, I think this is good enough for now. I don't really care about mana potions right now. And then, uh, I would say we add two lefts here. And it's pretty much done. Are we in the beginning? We are in the beginning. Let's refresh this. What is this? Okay, this is new. I muster the courage to sit through... Where are we? Yeah, here we are. Uh, sit through his whole routine. Turns out he has actual magic knowledge once you get past all that spiritual nonsense. Starts by intimidation... In, in Initiation with a great joy. New buff, max health. They got quite good perks in this church. The priest told me he can heal me with magic. He asked for a donation though. You can now heal at the church. Plus one health. If you heal at the church, I guess the donation is money, right? This is maximum health. Nice. So now I have maximum health of 28. 
I don't know if it's a new shield added on top. Yeah, it's a new shield added on top of the other shield. Where are we right now? I like how I'm getting more he health because my path already had some healing in it. Okay, I want to see this new <clears throat> fight. Okay. Now I have five mana potions and some money in the bank. And we pawned everything. I want to see what we pawn next time. I think we're also pawning monster souls. Which I would actually want to, you know, loot. What happened? Did we die? Did we die in the previous loop? What happened? I thought I had mana potions. Yeah, I'm running into a wall or something. So, yeah, I'm running into these. Nope. So, let's throw that path out. It's this path here. Out, out, out. And uh, add two more of those. I think that's a bit better. Also, what is this? Tiles. So from here, I can go like left, left. What is this guy? The guard. Royal guard will let you pass now that you have the password. Okay. And left, left. I guess down, left, right, right, right. Up. And now we're back to the path. Let's try this. Where are we? Now we're about to yule in. Room, room. Let's see what I'm throwing away actually here. Okay, coin. Now I'm at 102 coins. So 102, I can buy. Uh, I'm missing. I'm I'm like one health potion short, but I don't really care. Let's keep it as this. Let's continue the run. I have a lot of money though, and I also did not sell every single hat. What? Why did I not sell every single hat? I don't know. I want to also kill the priest. <laughs> To also kill the priest just to see what it is. By the way, I like how the guards in the city don't even care that I have assassinated half the, the village. All the village? Half the village? You can decide. It's uh, almost the same thing. In the castle we are. It's exact. These are blocked, right? Bench. A quiet place. What? Okay, let's see the new path. Zigzag around. Off to the wall we went. You can continue your loops. Uh, Piles. There is something there. I guess we're gonna run up after that. So let's go here and up. Tiles, tiles. So right now we're here pretty much. I don't know why it's bugging out there, but can I see? Tiles. Everything is tiles. Zigzag around, died. I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of this is. And I also have here to explore. Blocked. Cathedral. This guy can heal us, but who cares? I also want to go a bit higher there. So where is us going up? It's here. So let's go a bit higher. Like do a zigzag over there. Something. Go a bit down over there. Then run it back again. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, why did I hit... This is tiles. Can I go to the left? Blocked, 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 blocked. Tiles. Okay, I can definitely go through this area. So here. I would say go left. Left, left, down. Pick this up if it's something. Then up and left again. I don't even know. Let's refresh this. We're about to come in. We have arrived. Zigzag around. Clear the area. Yep, and off to the wall we go. What is this? Tiles. Tiles, tiles. And up here, tiles, tiles. So let's go one more, one higher. I really hate how you explore in this game. And then we'll go one lower. Over here, I would say, instead of only st stopping, stopping there, let's go down, down, left, 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 right, 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 up, and reset the path. What was that? Blocked, blocked. I think I picked up another spirit. Yeah, 25%. Okay, um, please remove this from this. Let's go left again. Try to zigzag around. I see somebody's about to get executed there. Let's loop around here. I think this is grass, yeah. Loop around and uh, maybe peace we go there. And that's not speaking. I mean, let's interact a bit. I want to see how much money he takes from us. Loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop-de-loop. -loop -loop. What is this guy? The carporal. 
She's only playing with you. Fight her four times to defeat her. That sounds easy. Pilot cage, another poor soul who angered the king. What is speaking doing? What will speaking do? Okay, so I'm here. Let's run down. Speak with her. Like, let's say 50 times. It lags whenever I... Do you see how much this lags? Try this again. And then maybe fight her four times. I'm sure we're gonna even survive this. I'm 99% sure we're not gonna survive this. Tiles, tiles. Pilo another postal rank of the king. Same thing goes here. The guard. I can't even fight the guards, by the way. What is that area? Uh oh. Made I made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, after this I have to return the path to normalcy. Yeah, exactly. And this whole path here is useless. All of all of this is useless. Until the path reforms. Nope. I think the path. This brings me back. How? What is this? Man, this game. I think I just have to throw this away. I have no idea, man. I have no idea right now. Well, throw it all out. Where am I, first of all? Here, okay, time to go to the corporal. Speak 50 times. Oh, we're gonna die on speaking. Oh no, we actually died in, died in the fight. How many times did we beat her? Uh, the corporal teased you. Plus 5 defense parry. Defense parrying. Fighting the corp fighting the corp fight the corporal. Reduce the amount of damage sustained by defense by 1.9%. Okay. When I spoke to him, I chatted a bit with the corporal, chatted, 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 and then I beat her once. You parried the corporal successfully. 20 defense parry. Okay. You have angered the corporal. You won't hold up now. Plus 80 defense parry. And then we dies. Okay. That's nice. We got a new thing to train. And also a new person we spoke. What is this? We're missing a person there. The corporal of the guard. There stands the corporal, corporal, I don't know how this word is exactly pronounced, of the guard, surrounded by all the poor souls that have been tortured and put to display. She notices me looking at her gallows and yells at me, cunning me at her hand. She twice my weight, all muscle, right away. She draws a sword and presses the blade, my chest. What's the outsider doing here? Get hell out of the city. Uh, I think we died again. So, after the corporal is dead, please. I, I don't need... Oh, there is... Uh, I can go up here. We can go deeper into the city. Block, block. Okay, this path is completely blocked. The sewers. The entrance of the sewer system. It might lead somewhere. Not explored. Holy moly. What is this? Block, block. There is somebody here. The blacksmith. Careful. Primary tour is a hammer. Okay. Let's rebuild the city for a moment. Can I please... Can I please rebuild the city for a moment? Because you see I have done a bunch of YOLO things here. So, throw this all out, please. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we speak with this guy 20 times. Then, we run over to the blacksmith. If anything, we should first go to the blacksmith. So, we are here. Let's go one back. Blacksmith is here, so we go from here down, 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 down. Speak with the blacksmith. Uh, for the first time, let's speak until we die. This is not speaking. Uh, please refresh this a moment. Let's speak to the blacksmith until he dies. Okay, this loop is a, a blacksmith until he dies loop. And then after that, it's gonna become a speak with him 30 times, I would say. And let's go over here. Can you control V in this? You can definitely drag and drop, like, you can do transferring, but you cannot control V, control C, this is... There are so many things in this game that definitely would need some improvement. Let's speak with this guy, let's say, let's say 10 times. I don't need to farm these things right now. Yeah, let this guy speak with him forever. Look at this, this is so much farm. Actually, we have enough mana. Speak with this guy, let's say 30 times. 
Let us see what the blacksmith saved, saved us. Is he the next character? Yes, he is. We're gonna talk to them in a moment. Then uh, this guy gives takes us 125 steps. So we go left, 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 left. Avoid this guy. I'm adding pretty much this tile, which is 60 plus 62 instead of this guy 125. How much does the guard cost actually to go through? 49 after a million level ups. Yeah, okay. The tiles are definitely gonna cost a lot less faster. Then we go like this, 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 and then we speak with her. Let's say another 3D times. And uh, I guess we're not gonna. Let's fight her three times. And then run it back. And uh, go to the middle and offshoot to the top. Tiles, tiles, tiles. Is there any reason I'm centralizing? Not really. But I don't care. I, I I don't think I need to super super min max. But to know, you know what? No, I want to min max this. So here I would say let's go right, right, and up, and this should go through this tile, through this tile, and then off to the whatever. Where are we right now? We're talking to the blacksmith. Okay. Until this guy's looping, let's see what we got. So I was here. Times are hard for religious men. The king is apparently getting rid of anybody with an ounce of power. Everybody's treating on and they are nice treading. 300 and something talks with this guy. He takes very he talks very slowly with great difficulty. First of all, let's see what we explore. Let's see what we explore. Speak to this guy 3D times. Speak to this guy 3D times. Speak to that guy 3D times. Off into a wall we went. What is up here? Isles. The castle door. Isles. Tiles. Okay. Let's go up here. And uh, because all of these are tiles, I'm going to just zigzag here. This is a small technique I have found, which um, gives you quick access to new, uh, you know, to new vision. So, talks very slowly with great difficulty. He seems to calm down once he understands that I have nothing to do with the guards of the king. Do you know the difference between a priest and a hook? Huh. That guy doesn't look like it, but he knows a lot of Diddy jokes. I'm stealing them, they are a good icebreaker. New buff Diddy jokes. He can improve any weapon you bring to him. It is going to cost you a few bucks, but it's premium work. You can now forge your weapons at the blacksmith. Plus one Diddy jokes. And what does she give us? First of all, let's, let's see the, the new path. I'm gonna also see what the Diddy jokes buff does. Diddy jokes. Speaking to people is 100% easier. Love it. Perfect. And this will become 50% easier. You see? You, did you see how I opened the map really quickly there? That's the that's the trick. It's a tactic. What is this? A royal guard. And uh, this is the castle door. The castle door. Tiles. Okay, I can definitely go like over here. Let's, uh, let's do a small zigzag here. In case it doesn't allow me to. I'm gonna try to blast off to the top. So, I was saying... Uh, off to... Where are we time-wise? 53 minutes. Dang it. Let's continue the story reading for a moment. I didn't read this. So, I read this. It buys my weight. Whole muscle. Right, draws. Yeah, what's now? So, I think you read it. I draw my weapons. She starts laughing. Everybody, come and watch. She shouts, uh, shouts at the nearby guards. I'll show you the way of the guard. She draws the sword as she marches towards me. Well, it's retraining. New buff way of the guard. I'm gonna see it. I still try to get information while she tries to whip my butt. She seems to like the banter. I just have to learn to make conversations while fighting. Okay, that's good. Uh, the priest is always flabbergasted to meet a stranger who already knows his religion. I always play it as if I'm a fan who's been traveling a lot just to meet him. What a play. What a player. <laughs> yeah, I know everything about the, your god. <laughs> uh, they used to be... I mean, I have a epiphany today that you would say... And, the, and then you copy what he's about to say. <laughs> and then, boom, you're instantly the messiah. This used to be such a quiet thing. Things have gotten really rough lately. They are building pil pilories all around. He doesn't really know what to make of it. Okay. Way of the guard. Straight. Wait. Retraining. Get information while she tries to whip my butt. Learn to match. Okay. Let's see what the way of the guard means. Killing an enemy brings it back. Brings a bit of mana. Brings a bit of mana, 4% of XP gain. So I lose 4% of XP and get mana heal when I kill? Is that what this does? Or or is it an addition? I hope it's an addition, because if it's an addition, then it's really powerful. Um, okay, now, let's see first of all the new exploration path. Okay, there is there does not seem to be something there. 
There really does not seem to be something here. Like, can I zigzag here? Let's, uh, let's reset this for a moment. And uh, let's also add... First of all, I want to see if I can build something. Forge weapons, five gold. Where's the premium, man? <laughs> Where's the premium? It's on a premium. The price is a premium. Let's uh, let's forge three times, YOLO. And uh, let's try to assassinate the priest as he only has 83 fighting power. Maybe that's like a curse we're gonna get. And now let's try to assassinate her. Let's refresh this. Theoretically, with the new weapons, times 5 forge, 400 to interact. Man, I have so much mana. I even have a bunch of mana potions. What happened? Where did the camera go? Oh, I found a new path. Tiles, tiles. Okay, let's continue to the right. Nope, too much. Go one back, go one back. Let's run it up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Refresh, where are we? We're about to enter. The city. Da -da 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 -da. I got the new weapons. Oh, 5 gold, 6 gold, 7 gold, 8 gold. Ah, okay. Plus 10% damage every time you do this. This is insane. This is insane. Are you crazy? A permanent buff? One of the virgin stupid hat. Hopefully it's worth a few bucks. Oh, it's from this village. I kill after I go there. Okay, this is insane. Let's continue. I should be able to beat her now, right? No, we died there at the very end. Let's remove that last fight then. Because I want to explore a bit. And uh, also I forgot something. I wanted to explore the sewers. Let's add that to the route. How much exploring does this need? 100. Okay, that's easy. So while I'm here, let's go one back, up, up. Explore. Let's say, first of all, let's remake the build on this road. Let's say explore 50 times. It is lagging. It is lagging. It is lagging. I don't know how the programming works in this game. Yeah, this is... I think we're still dying, right? No, we're alive. Zigzag there, zigzag there. Zigzag here and off to the roof. And this is a new path now. Is there any reason why I'm exploring all this? Who knows? Dirt, dirt, tiles. What's exploring here? Is this tiles? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm finding a backpack into the castle or something. Let's go over here and then... Nope, too much. One back, left. So right now I'm theoretically here, exactly. This is tiles, as far as I see it. So let's zigzag here a bit. And let's go left. Refresh this. Where are we? Where am I? Did I explore this? Stop, 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 stop! I think I lost it. Yeah, this is like killing him and the mana potions. Wait. You carefully explore the sewer system, you carefully explore the sewer system, you carefully explore the sewer system. 28% explored. 28% with 50 explorations? Are you crazy? Okay, let's go now. Where's this? Where's the exploration? This is the, the training dummy. I mean, I still have one mana potion. Am I going to survive this? I want to see if I can survive this. Okay, still alive. I died. The sewer system killed us. Let's go for 30 explorations. Okay, reset. Let's go again. This guy, the priest is always flabbergasted. Yeah, he happily follows me to the dark corner near the cathedral so as to not alert the guards. He excited expression changes as he sees my raising my blade. He is no match. I find a couple of small mana potions on his body. Oh, when you kill him, he gives you mana potions. We have the guard. Try to get info. Yeah, they all seem to enjoy this distraction a bit too much. It really looks. Give me a second. So I gain nothing from exploring, right? Like, carefully explore, carefully explore. Yeah, I gain nothing from that. I'm gonna about to assassinate this guy. Actually, I'm getting our power up. Assassinate that guy. He gave us... Yeah, he gives us two mana potion. Chad with a bit. Kill the priest, gain two mana potions. Yeah, that's what he literally gives you. And now I'm gonna loop over there and see what we find. Go up, left. Six. Oh, we found a time, time spirit. Aha! Secrets. I guess it's no secret. Stop falling for a moment. Rolling for a moment. So here I just go up, pick it up, and reset. 
And I think that's going to be it for today. I think we're gonna end this here. We uh, we hit an hour again. I didn't want to hit an hour, but it happened. What to say, what to say. Uh, yeah, let's loop around a moment. Let's see this last path. I oh, know this is actually not even the last path thing. This is still the previous one. And um, yeah, I don't see anything here being of importance. Can I pick up that spirit for a moment? No, I forgot to update. Yeah, we're gonna pick it up next time. So, uh, next video, the farm route I'm gonna take, okay? First of all, I'm gonna pick up the light elf, okay? I'm gonna... I, I, I thought about... I, I will explore the castle, the left side of it. Should I, though? I think I should explore this with you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna explore the castle with you guys. So, we're gonna... And girls, obviously. We're gonna explore the castle next time. So, my farming route is what I'm already doing. I will also go to this observatory to open up this path. And also this observatory to make everything visible. Then I will also try to see if this Hydra here is beatable. And if it is, I'm gonna kill all of these and go over to this observatory to open this map up to. So, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna go here, farm this, kill all of these and get the observatory done. If the Hydra gives us something unique, I mean, it's just one fight. You know what? I can just do this fight right now. So, let's save this. Let's make this... Mm, talk with the guards. No, below castle orbs. What is this even? Castle observatory. Oh, this is observatory. Okay, let's go here and say uh, castle everything. Okay, so this is pretty much castle everything. Now let's reload the basics. I just want to really quickly see if I can, um, you know, what's it called? Beat the Hydra. Let's let's quickly see if we can beat the Hydra here. And after that, we can just end the video. Because uh, beating the Hydra shouldn't be that hard to load. Please, the basics. Thank you. So, from here... I would say let's go left, 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 up, up, left, 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 up, left, 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 blah, 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 blah. I went a bit too far. Let's go up. Then we run over to the left, 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 left. I know this water is going to, you know, be a problem, but who cares? Let's go fight the Hydra just to see what it gives us. And yeah, that's it pretty much. Still on the old path. I'm gonna read this too in a moment. We are we already passed an hour, so might as well make it an hour and five minutes. So let's see this new path. I mean, this is the old path, obviously, but I want to see if we can fight a Hydra. By the way, everything is going extremely fast because I'm putting everything into heart to make the game extremely fast. What is happening? Where are I? Where are we? Okay, we go deposit. A fight with the Hydra. Okay, one hit, almost dead. But uh, we, we beat her instantly. We one shot her. He took... No, not almost dead. We lost like three hearts. Who cares? And the Hydra gave us what? Kill the Hydra? Nothing. The Hydra gave us nothing. So if I continue this, it's just gonna loop. Yeah. So give me a pause here for a moment. Actually, you can loop. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, so let's just, you know, plot the path. We're gonna go here. We're gonna fight this, then we're gonna go here, we're gonna fight this, and then we're gonna go here and talk to the observatory. Reset this, please. I mean, I think we're ready to... Yeah, ready to reset this. I just want to show to show to you what we're gonna be doing. Most likely. And then the same goes for here, the bottom path. We're gonna defeat the beast, go over here, pick up this observatory and open up the map. I'm not gonna go more deeply, but I'm gonna at least open this so that we have the observatory ready. You're running, come on, the mana potions. Ah, we made it, we made it. And now we're opening up the map pretty much and we die. The the map. Why did the loop not happen? Did you see that? The loop did not happen. I have infinite loops. Repeat the last action on the list. Oh, I, I clicked the auto loop. Okay. And yeah, that's it pretty much. Let's uh, change this from the basics. This is castle everything, skill core training. Forget this. This is explore left. And then I'm also gonna have explore right, etc, etc, etc. So, yeah, I'm gonna farm this for another, I guess, day. And then we're gonna continue. So, next day, this is gonna be, everything is gonna be open. Here I will, I will have XP those guys so much that we will blast through this. This I will also blast through by XPing. And uh, we can try to explore the game tomorrow again. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, game overall. I definitely do. I like this game a lot. Let's uh, let's go back to the castle everything. Make sure we save the explorer left. And let's go back to the castle everything. Reset please. Let's go. So, yeah. 
I definitely do enjoy the game. I hope you guys do too. If you do, dropping a like helps out the channel alongside uh, making it so that, you know, YouTube is going to show you um, more of these videos. So if you are still interested in the series, then dropping a like is the best thing you could do to help it out. And also follow it, keep track of it. And um, yeah, I, I'm excited to see what else we can find. Uh, it, it starts becoming a bit slower and slower, the progression we're doing. But um, yeah, that's that's the game. What can I say? By the way, give me a sec. Why is this path part of the... Well, whatever. This whole path here has to go. <laughs> Everything here has to go. Give me a sec. I I'm gonna refine it later, like, who cares? I'm gonna refine the moment I close this video. I want to see what this is. 88% explored. Why is this 88% explored only? I want to explore this together with you guys. I don't want anybody to miss this. So let's just... Where, where is the exploding of that? There's a 100 here. There is a. There should be like a 50 somewhere. Here it is. So throw everything below this into the ground. Out of the city. Come on today, please. Oh, what am... I, I have a faster way. Did we explore this? 96% explored. Let's delete. Man, uh, this, this there are some really bad things that this game has. Like this, which is happening right now. What is this? It takes you like a million hours to set up a road. Bugs, bugs, lugs, lugs. Yeah, and after I explore this... I mean, at the moment we explore the, the sewers here, I'm gonna stop. The reason I want to explore them with you is because I don't know what it's gonna give us, and um, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's not. Let's end it on a high note, I guess, for anybody that uh, wants to learn what the ruins actually do. Everything up, run over there, pick everything up, blah blah blah. Yeah, got potions, etc. Go over here, fight that, zigzag, zigzag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where am I right now? I'm here. Oh, we found the back alley. We found the back alley! Okay. From here you blink over to there, right? That's what's happening. Yeah, look at this. He goes here and then he goes back. Ooh, perfect! We found the back door. Okay, I'm obviously gonna farm this whole thing now. <laughs> now that you guys know that there is a back door. This area... Where, where is it? First of all, let this continue. Like, who cares? This area? Yeah, you can forget it. <laughs> I mean, literally skipping all of this... And instantly appearing from here to the top. I mean, from the basics, just appear here, then run it backwards. First of all, talk with this guy. Get the money, kill him. 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 Buy things. Go here. Easy peasy. Yeah. And we're gonna... I'm, I'm gonna create a path here. I'm gonna create something. And at some point, I will also kill the corporal. So we're also gonna get things out of that guy. Uh, yeah, you can like blinkeroni. Anyway, that is going to be it for today, though, this time. So, pff, big video again. I don't know why I'm doing these so big, but I guess I know. <laughs> I'm just addicted. I I don't know where to stop. Doesn't matter. I hope you guys enjoyed, as I said. And um, yeah, really ready to read some comments. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today once again. So thanks for watching and see you guys around.